Hey guys, Andy here, and it's really been a while, hasn't it, since I've made one of these, uh, what do you call them? Oh yeah, videos. <laughs> so yeah, I've decided to finally come back to the YouTubes, and I'm proud to announce that we're gonna be making some more quality content soon. So the tentative idea, because I don't want to give out a schedule, because y'all know how that goes with me, right? But the tentative idea is to um, continue to do live streams on this channel that you're watching me on right now. But I'm also planning on doing some more streams outside once uh, I get done moving here, which we're going to be talking about here in a little bit. And then for the editing channel, I'm planning on making some more video editing tutorials. Um, over the past couple months, I've been compiling a bunch of video editing tutorial ideas and I want to start checking those off the list. So I'll be on the lookout for more tutorials from that channel coming soon. Then as for the Andy Japandi channel, I'm planning on doing a weekly live stream where I learn Japanese. So that's going to be really fun to do one of these little, I think they're called like study with me type live streams. Um, so once I get all the material and all that um, assembled and ready for streaming, then uh, we'll begin the weekly live streams from the Andy Japandi channel. Be on the lookout for all that stuff coming soon. So now that we've gone over the youtube -y stuff, let's get into the personal life stuff, right? So, getting some old monthly update vlog vibes right now, not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, so the reason I haven't been making much uh, in terms of video content on my channels is simply because I really needed to take a break after graduating from Lakeland University of Japan last year under the Associates program. Uh, I was just really burnt out with school and trying to maintain commitments with uh, video editing gigs and shoots and just everything else that I was just burnt to a crisp, basically, and really needed to take a break. And for those of you who are on YouTube, you definitely understand that um, quarter one, January through March, AdSense doesn't really pay a whole heck of a lot. So if you are going to take a break, those are the prime months to do it. So I figured it just right place, right time, right? <laughs> and plus, since I'm not on the, on the uh, GI Bill anymore, I needed to maintain my income somehow, right? So I figured um, just take a pause on a lot of things and uh, just work my ass off until classes start back up in the summer. And I've been seeing a lot of success in doing that, not just being a video editor, but also being a shooter as well. I've been really enjoying being more active in that approach and it's really helped me financially as well. But at the same time, it has come at the expense of my own YouTube videos and had me feeling some kind of way, especially uh, come March 1st, which was my 15 year anniversary on YouTube. and. Even though I made the video and was was proud of it, I still felt in a lot of ways like, you know, I've been on YouTube for 15 years now. And it's like, all right, let's put some of my own videos out there, right? But then I started getting into like video editor mode of, well, I don't know if my content's good enough for the algorithm. And I don't know if the amount of time that I put into my own videos is gonna pay off in terms of AdSense and this, that, and the other. So I ended up just putting it off and uh, in favor of editing for other people, which was much more lucrative for me. But I still felt some kind of way about it, so that's why I decided to come back to YouTube in this way. So doing a lot more live stream content because I don't have to sit down and edit it. And the video editing tutorials are pretty easy to put together, to be honest. That way I can still make that quality content for you guys while still maintaining my other commitments. Does this mean that I'll never ever make videos for this channel or the Andy Japandi channel ever again? Not really. It just means they're not gonna be a regular part of those channels uh, for the time being. Once circumstances change, that might also change, but that's just the situation as it is now. So, yeah, during that break, I was doing a lot of thinking about stuff. Doing some talking with uh, Eric Surf 6 about stuff and he wants to, me to be uh, more involved 
with his channel, not just, you know, editing videos, but also shooting more videos. So he wants me to live a bit closer to where he's at. And he gave me a little tour of his um, local neighborhood out in the Shonan area, south of Kanagawa. And to be honest, I just fell in love with it. You know, like when I moved back to Japan, I really wanted to be by the ocean again. But I knew that in going to school at Lakeland and my other video commitments in Tokyo, it just wouldn't really be logistically feasible with the uh, long commute times and all that kinds of stuff. But with the shift to doing more stuff online, it all of a sudden became a lot more feasible. And I figured we're not gonna be doing in-person classes or anything like that anytime soon. So why am I sticking so close to Tokyo, right? And even if I do wanna go to Tokyo, the commute isn't too bad, all things considered. Especially if I'm only going in like once or twice a week at most if at all. <laughs> so I figured, fuck it, let's uh, move closer to the ocean. And found a nice, lovely place out uh, by the harbor. Uh, we're gonna be doing a tour of that apartment this coming week. And if all goes according to plan, I'll be uh, moving down there within the next couple weeks. So we're really gonna be looking forward to doing uh, some more live stream work, not just in, inside uh, this guest room, but also um, at my new apartment and outside of my new apartment as well, doing some uh, beach live streams. So really, really looking forward to it. And it's also giving me more motivation to learn Japanese. As I said earlier, we're gonna be doing some weekly learning Japanese live streams on the Andy Japandi channel. Because uh, the further away from the big cities like Tokyo you go, yeah, that rhymed. <laughs> uh, the less English is spoken out in those areas. And plus, you know, I wanted to improve my Japanese for a while now. It's just I never really set aside some time to, to do it because I was always either busy working on school or working on videos or I just wasn't in a productive state to really do anything. So yeah, we're throwing all them excuses out the window here, folks. Spring has definitely sprung for the old Andy San, Sam Adishta. And I'm really looking forward to making more of that quality content for you guys. And it feels like things are really starting to kick off for me. So I just wanna thank you guys uh, for your patience during this uh, much longer hiatus than I anticipated. Um, and uh, for watching my stuff and talking with me in the Discord as well. Uh, if you guys wanna join, links always in the description down below. And uh, with that said, this is Andy San. Sign for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.